Hey, buddies! Potemic Whiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization VI of Persia, where things have been going pretty well. We've got ourselves a gargantuan, a huge, a massive empire that sprawls all the way from Constantinople, loops all the way down to Joseph, and makes its way over to Parsa. We're in the process of building what might actually be one of the biggest, most powerful, interesting empires that I've ever had in my entire life playing Civilization or indeed any 4X game. Uh, we do have a new spy. I'm going to go ahead and pop that spy into Mycenae because it's likely that that character, the Macedonians, it's likely he's going to be my next military target, even though he's quite technologically ahead. We should be able to do something about that. All right, we're gonna go ahead and blast here. I would like to upgrade this artillery and I will. I'm gonna step you forward a tile. I'm gonna blast the city. Let's go ahead and pillage for a little bit of culture. We may as well continue to pillage and hopefully we can get these cities killed. So we just built a spy in here in David Tremblay. I think it could be good for us to get the archeological museums. Um, a few archeologists here might be great to do a little bit of theming you know, get all that stuff going. So we have a really good monopoly on cotton, which is awesome. Uh, four of them is owned by Alexander. So we should be getting incredible, yeah, 800% tourism yields right now. So we're getting nearly 2,000 tourism per turn. So we should start to see a massive skyrocketing in the amount of tourists we're getting. We should be getting a tourist, like, from every player, every two turns at least, um, if not faster than that, which is going to be an exciting and fun time for us. Remember, if you're getting an 800% modifier, to your tourism, every small shred of tourism, like a great work of writing, is actually worth a lot of tourism. So we're going to go in here. Oh, I don't have quick deals installed. Hold on, let me, let me quickly go back to a main menu and see if I can get that fixed. <sighs> Looks like some of my UI mods didn't activate properly. Okay, we loaded up a few of our mods and hopefully things will look a little bit better. There we go. This is what we were looking for. Oh, I can sell off a bunch of my resources to Dido. I will. Um, let's see. Anyone want to sell me great works of writing? No, nobody wants to sell me great works of writing, which is totally understandable. Um, we definitely need a builder over here. So I'll go ahead and put the time into a builder and a settler in the city of Joseph. We've got medieval walls over here. And no renaissance walls for us, sadly. We'll finish the harbour, then we'll go for the granary and the monument. Let's go ahead and make sure that we blast this city down. Um, you really want to be able to get a artillery. Oh, of course it would spawn over there. All right. Let's capture the city of Nicaea. Boom. Uh, we'll shoot this vampire to get rid of him. And we'll step you back. Uh, we now are in control of this city. We need a little bit of loyalty to control. We'll move Reyna over there. Now we're only losing 0 0.1 loyalty per turn. I think the big thing would be, let me let me have a look at the old resource map mode. I want to look for cotton in particular. There's some whales and stuff down here, some olives, good luxuries here. Yeah, yeah, we definitely want to get these luxuries here online if we can. So I'll send a builder that way. We're about to get tanks, which is really exciting. Um, I think I have a few cuirassiers kind of rambling around in the darkness. Oh yeah, there's a lot of cotton over here that we can go get activated. We definitely want to get as many luxuries online as possible, because remember, that is going to represent a huge boost to our tourism. The more luxuries we control, particularly things like cotton. Um, so let's do the old resource search. Now, what's the status of our control of incense? We have an eight out of 12 monopoly, so we definitely want to get more control of that. So this settler should for sure go capture this incense, I reckon, even though it won't be very good of a city. May as well give it two workable tiles. Looks like my turtles have been damaged, so I'll go ahead and send you to go repair my turtles. I suppose I can get the, some of these fishing boats and stuff repaired too, that'd be nice. Alrighty, we got another Jong in here. I don't know if, I need, if it needs to become a battleship, I'll just get it to chill. Seems fine to me. Oh, another great work of writing. Excellent. Remember, every shred of production, or every shred of luxury, every shred of tourism, means a lot. Nice, there's combustion, so we do have access to supply convoys as well as tanks. We definitely want a supply convoy. We also have access to ideology, which will allow us to build more spies. I'm going to come over to Constantinople, and I'm going to gold purchase myself a... Oh. Well, I wanted a supply convoy, but maybe the obs balloon is the right play, because now these guys have even better range. Now, why don't you step here? One blast, two blast, three blast. Adrianople has already basically fallen. It's a very exciting possibility. You step back to heal. Um, we'll go ahead and blast you. You could get some kills, but these vampires could hurt you too. We're going to grab you. Well, it's probably good for us to get computers now because it's a 25% tourism boost across our empire. And we have tanks, 
So I think we're kind of good. We've got the commercial hub in Adana. Yeah, let's have a look. Where's our entertainment complexes? I mean, there's a few kind of hanging around. We could do it more. I think it does make sense to maybe plug in gunboat diplomacy here. I'm pretty happy with the government that we have. We don't need to change anything. So I'm pretty sure we want to fill this desert with as many Pyrodesas as is feasible, purely because their little bit of culture gain actually will result in a fairly significant um, amount of tourism. I think this alone is worth three tourism per turn, which then gets filtered through our incredible multipliers, 834%. So it should turn into a really quite a, quite a lot of tourism. And that's kind of the goal here is, is can we just kind of giga overpower a tourism victory here? I think we can. I think we can, I think we can at least give it the old college try. The old college try. Ye old college tree. So I've gone through and I've laid down a what I call a crystalline structure of um, pyrodesas. And the idea here is that by perfectly spacing them as like densely as possible, we'll maximize the amount of tourism we'll be able to gain from this desert down here. Um, and that's kind of the hope. And similar sorts of things we'll be doing over here in other areas. But I think we're going to prioritize getting this desert up and running. Right. So there we go. We have fully gone through and pyrodesa the desert. Now, that it doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to place every single one of these. It's just that if we have a builder nearby and his job will be to place a pyrodesa, we know where to put them to optimize the total amount of tourism that we will get from this desert. Now, the other really cool thing is the Alcazar also gives you tourism. So we have flight. All we really need now to win the game are builders and to spam out all of these tile improvements to like just crazy, crazy amounts of tourism. And the great thing is we can fit in Alcazars basically adjacent to these Pyrodeses and it'll follow the same pattern. Essentially, it, there's like some variations. There's probably some little bits of nuance we'll have to do. But effectively, that's what we've managed to pull off. Now, that took me a decent amount of time to get that going. But that's not very important because we're about to capture yet another city with a whole bunch of more, but even more luxuries, tobacco, which I already have a little bit of control of. And so there's kind of potential there for something to happen. We do need a governor for the city of Adrianople. I am going to grab Amani from Istanbul and pop her into Adrianople. Boom, that'll give me control. In the city of Sidon, um, can I sell? Nobody wants to buy my luxuries because they all hate me. So I'll just buy these tiles. Getting these fishing boats online is fantastic. When it comes to turtles, there is some chance we could get a monopoly on turtles. It seems a little bit harder. Now I'm expecting the AI to go to war with me for this military emergency. Totally, totally expected. Hey, we met Poland, which is excellent. Oh, the military emergency failed. The city state emergency passed though which is great. Okay, so it turns out they did not declare war on me, which is actually grand. It's going to save me so much time and effort. We got the armory here in Joachim Yarabring. Let us get, um, probably good to hard build a supply convoy. We could make use of that. We got the zoo and Tim Russell. Production in here is a little bit, uh, scuffed. Could be something to be said for going for the factory. Armory completed in Clockwork Ouroboros. Um, definitely go for the military academy to keep that production nice and high. We got the shrine over here. Let's get the amphitheater industrial zone. May as well keep the repairs happening. What have we got going here envoy wise? Um, we could take Susan to you of Preslab. There's no reason not to. We get a bunch of error score. We discover some stuff about the world and generally end up in a better place than we were. There's another city we found in Nicomedia. Let's move the artillery up for the eventual war. May as well blast this district to get rid of its, its combat power. So I think at this point I've met everyone on the map. So we're generating maximum amounts of tourism. Uh, my luxury resource monopoly seems to be going down for some reason. So I just have to, you know, we just need to keep working on it. Whatever is causing it, keep repairing those tiles, keep the pyrodesas coming. We're up to 53 foreign tourists. We just need to get 445, which shouldn't be too difficult. Oh, we finished medieval walls over here. Let's go ahead and get that theater square repaired. We got the Renaissance walls over here. Repair these bad boys. One blast and two blasts on the city. Can we get the kill this turn? Not quite. We'll be able to get it next turn. I would like to turn you into a tank. That's a little bit expensive and I don't have the oil for it. Right, Poland is, you know, a little bit upset with me, <laughs> as is their right. There's radio, so we do have access to broadcast centers as well as fascism if we decide to switch to that. I don't know if we actually care about switching to fascism. I think we might be happier in democracy to get a little bit more tourism. All right, Nicomedia is down. Another city has fallen beneath our hoof, our cloven hooves. All right, we've got a spy here in the capital. Should we build a stock exchange? Uh, we could build some goods. I mean, I guess we could build cotton industries. Yeah, let's do it. Sounds like fun. Honestly, that's like 90% of the justification I need to do anything in my life. Eh, sounds like fun. <laughs> um, let's grab 
gilded vaults. We do still want gold. Like, you know, I love gold. I mean, fascism is great for the game that we're going to go for here. I just don't think we need it. I think I'd rather get democracy, get better tourism -y cards. We could do more with democracy than we can with fascism. Archaeological Museum is finished in David Tremblay. Let's go ahead and get ourselves an archaeologist. Uh, speaking of which, do we want to do something similar? Let's build a canal in Beruda, like little Suez, a little Suez. Suez. Let's bring this tank for, or this Corassier forward and turn it into a tank. Let's clear this barb camp. Very nice. We'll be able to blast it open too. Oh, we got traders. Um, I don't remember what the hell I was doing with these traders. You know what would be a really cute thing to do is to trade. <laughs> trade with Dido to get the 25% tourism bonus with her. <laughs> oh, man. Now, that's funny. Now, that's funny. Uh, 71 foreign tourists. Ain't bad. Somehow I discovered the Void Singers. Not that it's very useful at this point in the game. I do have a supply convoy heading to the front line. Honestly, just builders is what I need. Although I will build. I would like to build this theater square. I guess I could put it in between two Pyrodizas to get a little bit of extra tourism. The sheer quantity of builders that I have to build to upgrade my territory is kind of insane, actually. Um, and the sheer quantity of builders that I do have already running around improving things is also equally insane and fun. All right, blast Sinope. One, two, and a three. Tank, can you take the city? Oh, baby. Yes, you can. Um, and then I think I think that's us pieced out with these guys. And we should look to, um, to push in a different direction. I'm going to faith buy a ranger to protect this city eventually. I forgot that I had hard built a obs balloon in one of my cities. And so I bought one and I spent a whole bunch of money on that for basically no reason. Little bit of a silly move. Oh, can I buy this tile? There we go. 260 gold to get another thingy, right? So we're up to, what is that? 861. I build this plantation. It goes up to 891. So that's worth 30% more tourism. That's a lot. That's a hell of a lot. World Congress doesn't really matter to me because my money doesn't, or I, I don't have any diplomatic points right it just, it just it's it's irrelevant uh dwight eisenhower i'll take him we got ourselves an entertainment complex we can go for the arena and the zoo those are a little bit of trickle of tourism we get the archaeological museum in istanbul may as well harvest to get that a few turns sooner i mean the game is ending we're up to 96 tourists we are completely shredding the amount of tourists we're already dominant over phoenicia georgia and almost rome and byzantium realistically um, I think I can actually end the game this episode if I really knuckle down, which let's do it. Let's knuckle down and try to end the game here. So I think I'm going to end my wars. I think I've, I've, I've pressed far and hard enough for the war effort. And so now is the time of the great peace, the great relaxation, the great sigh, one might call it, where we just collectively just chill the hell out and we just start spamming out paradises wherever we can. Um, so we're going to start ripping up my terrain completely with builders and placing Paradis nuts everywhere. Oh, we can play seaside resorts. <gasps> I totally forgot about seaside resorts. Those are so good. Oh man, that's a game changer. Right, so the rest of my military is just going to go ahead and go for a little sleepy sleep. Um, I should probably put a governor in charge of that city. Moksha, congratulations. You are the guardian of Sinnoh. Put all my bad boys to sleep. You're heading this way. I don't even know what we're looking for, but we're looking for something. We're looking to hunt them down. Yeah. Yeehaw. Have you ever yeed so hard that you couldn't haw? I know I have. I've yeed so hard that I couldn't haw haw. Ha 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 ha. You've yeed your last haw, partner. All right, let's have a look. We've got seaports. Eh, none of those really matter to me. It's all just on the way to computers. Renew that mission. We may as well get the oil power. Oh, sorry. We just built the factory. May as well get the oil power plant now that we can. Uh, Renaissance walls is completed in here. Let's get that water park. There's a little bit of tourism tied up in that bad boy. Um, may as well get aluminium online and just start plonking, plonking down. Paradise nuts. No, uh, Pyrodizas everywhere we can. We're just locust mode. A go. Okay, let's take professional sports so that we can get ski resorts. Uh, also, the Estadio de Maracana can be quite good. Archaeological museums are something that can be worth slowly working on. We'll eventually get around to those. Now, most of the construction-y stuff that we're going to do doesn't really matter that much. We are going to switch into democracy because we get that very cool card, the New Deal, which is a ton of amenities. And we're, I, don't know, I, don't know, I don't want to say we're struggling for amenities, but our amenities aren't doing great. We'll keep levy on mass to keep units nice and cheap. 
Military organization doesn't seem as important to me anymore um, as compared to maybe just getting more yields. We do have the Builder card plugged in. I guess there's something to be said for military research. It's 52 science that could potentially lead to more tourism. We could get the five-year plan. Uh, may as well take expropriation if we're going to keep settling. Colonial taxes gets us a little bit of stuff on some of these continents. Like some of our stuff does in fact happen on other continents. So there's something to be said there. But yeah, we're, we're doing a total like rip up, tear down, rebuild of this entire zone. Placing down every single possible thing that we can that will generate tourism. Ripping up old farms, building new luxuries. It's a new dawn, it's a new day. I've got 127 tourists. God, that's such a beautiful number. Um, let's go for the National History Museum in the capital. We've got temples. I mean, is there really any point in building anything but the delicious, delicious builders? I do not think so. Finally get tobacco up. What's our current control of tobacco? Oh, yeah. We got 43% control, so if we could get our hands on a little bit more tobacco, we could maybe do something very cool with that. Otherwise, it's all coming together exactly as planned. It would be... You know, just keep doing your trade route, it's fine. I was going to say, it would be nice to trade with other people, but honestly, it's on the same power as getting another luxury online, so I don't even think it's that worth it. Um, you know what, actually? Maybe I should have harvested these quarries. Yeah, I think so. Um, it would have been better so I can put more tourism down there. Lovely. Finally starting to fill in this desert. It'll take us a very, very long time to fill in this desert, but we can make it work. It'll it'll just take us time. It just takes a little bit of time, a little bit of energy, a little bit of schmoozing, a little bit of cruising. What's the tourism looking like here? And Bjorks thinks he's winning. Thinks he's winning. Um, but we're up to 141 tourists now. It's gonna be a beautiful time. Nice. There's computers with 25% tourism across your empire. Oh. Uh, which should lead us to now, yeah, we should be pulling at least one tourist per player in the game per turn. Um, and that's only going to get more disgusting, more powerful, more beautiful on our end as uh, as time goes on. So in terms of culture, we would love to get environmentalism for that 25% tourism boost. I think we would also really like, yeah, we want professional sports for the ski resorts. Um, wouldn't mind Cold War. I think I would prefer cultural heritage. I want that 100% tourism from great works of art and artifacts. That would be amazing. Um, and then environmentalism would be nice. So I think we're, we're kind of heading in the direction that we want to be. Now, do, I have conservation. So there are like some places we may want to consider making national parks. But honestly, I, I don't think I don't think I'm going to bother. It does not seem necessary to me. We did finally get some biplanes, but it's just not what I'm doing anymore. So I ain't bothering. We've moved on from the biplanes. I'm better than the biplanes now. Okay, Gilded Vault is done in here. Um, may as well just keep producing builders. I think builders are the only thing that I really need for my economy. Maybe we can get the occasional archaeological museum. But is that really as important as just building, 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 building lots of stuff? Building, 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 building lots of stuff. I really, really super hardcore do not think so. So many pirates, pirates nuts going online in my empire. Pirates nuts. We're up to 500 base tourism per turn, which is translating into about 5,000 tourism per turn per player. Hoping that the old tourism number is at 167. I'm curious as to what it'll go to if we do check it. Oh, nice, we got our first high adjacency harbor and professional sports. That'll be a fun time. 184. Jeez. We're now climbing up over Portugal, Spain, Poland, England, Macedon. Water park completed in here. Let's get the Ferris wheel. Uh, that guy's daughter, the harbor monument granary. And what are you, what are you doing here? Ooh, you're a little, uh, you're a little hurt. Once you fortify there, he'll hit you. Ooh, you're a little hurt. Once you retreat and, oh yeah. Oh, give me those ski resorts. And the beautiful thing about ski resorts is they are worth tourism. They're worth five tourism per turn, which gets multiplied by uh, 10, thanks to the 10,000 tourism that we have available. The, the multiplier, the 1,000% multiplier, the giga uber chad multiplier. I'm super at making things happen here. Sinope has flipped independent. Uh, this is unacceptable and we shall retake it. We keep the city, do a whole bunch of repairs and hope it doesn't do it again. It will do it again. Um, but you know, it's a couple of actions to take it back. Uh, there's plastics. We're heading into the modern era. We could probably get uranium. There's no reason not to. The old theater square is finished. Let's grab ourselves a stadium. 
archaeologist go ahead and grab me some of those delightful delightful artifacts oil power plants are coming online what are you building in here you know a little water park tornado came through we got a settler here oh my man you definitely need to get some cities down here and we will my builders are almost expensive as expensive as my settlers with the cards plugged in which is genuinely impressive they're like pretty close in cost fascinating stuff uh make your dedication for the atomic era we will take wish you were here for extra tourism from world wonders and tourism from national parks and then we'll take all of the other things because again it doesn't really matter right like we're, we're tourism them away we're up to 215 tourists okay nice we got the entertainment complex in zach Galeni. we can get the arena going we can get ferris wheels going i mean honestly it's really just a process of making sure all my builders are building the cool things that give you tourism uh, which is exactly um, the process that we have been doing for some time now everywhere i think i can get away with building a tourism yield improver um, that's what I've been doing. I've been just, I've been just churning, churning and burning. Tourism's up to nearly 600 per turn. I mean, t theoretically, right? I could just mash and turn. But would that be nearly as fun? Would it be nearly as fun to mash and turn than to like slowly and surely and carefully manipulate and maneuver my way through the whole tree, get, you know, all this stuff, get all the, get all the things. I don't know. It just feels, it doesn't feel as good to me to just smash the end turn button you know, 12 times and then oh, the game's over. It's a little bit more interesting. It's a little bit more exciting. If I play for play for keeps, do you know what I mean? We're playing, we're playing all the way through. We're not not taking half measures. I mean, sometimes I'll do half measures, right? For sure. Absolutely. I've done a few half measures in my time. And let me tell you, I've done a few full measures too. The old drinking can get you back. Oh yeah, the drinking will get you. All right, let's pop a little city down here in Hal Halakar Nassus Monument Granary. This city really just exists for this thing. Let's buy a builder. It's a thousand gold builder to get that goddamn thing online. All right, so we're up to 255 tourists at the end of turn 249. Let's see where we get to. All right, there's cultural heritage. We do want to plug that in. Um, so let's do that real quick. I will drop. I mean, five year plan is nice, but it's completely not necessary. We'll plug in heritage tourism. Boosh. Small boost in tourism. 275. Oh, we're getting 6,000 tourism per turn. Very nice. We're basically ahead of Portugal now. Only Gaul really standing a chance. Let's go for master plan. Every turn you'll receive 3% of the gold in your treasury as income. It's going to be pretty nice, I hope. Uh, pop down a seaside resort. Very cool. Now, my question is, do you receive up to 1,000 gold per turn in interest or up to 1,000? It's got to be 1,000 gold per turn, right? Let's see, can we sell anything? Oh, yeah. Any buyers of my wares? Well, not coal, because I need that coal. I can sell other things. You think about it. Now when we get money in, it, it gets me more money. So money begets money, which is kind of a fun feedback loop. It's very rare that I get to play around with Master Plan. I think there are some cool ideas we could do with Master Plan. 1,000 gold per turn and, and, and such. Um, Settler Dunzo, my middle name, Dunzo. You're Dunzo, and not just on Twitch. Your civilization has produced a great work. All right, we're up to 346 tourists, so we're very, very close to winning. We are in shift, enter, end the game, like vicinity, I would say. We're not going to shift, enter, the end the game because that's just not who I am, okay? I'll do that for a space victory, but for a tourism victory, no. I have far too much respect for the integrity of a tourism victory to shift, enter it, okay? Absolutely do not go back through my back catalog where there is 100% probability that there is evidence of me shift, ending my turns, okay? Don't do that. Okay, don't do not do that thing. Don't do it. Mm -mm. Nope, never happened. Okay, I will deny it. You could show me the evidence that definitely exists and I will still deny it. Okay, I'm taking the, the narcissist playbook here. Okay, I don't care if you can prove that I did it. I will never admit to it. Not because I really believe I didn't do it, but because it will make you, it'll fuck with your mind so much for the rest of your life that I refuse to admit that I did that, okay? That is that is the true, uh, you know, Giga Chad narcissist play that uh, we should all absolutely not aspire to because it's a hor horrifying way to be. Let's go to Pyrodizas and keep on getting these things. I have, you know what? I would actually love, there should be like a piece of data in Civ, right? They should track how many times you've done a thing like, if you've won 100 games, it should tell you you've won 100 games, but they should track how many times you've built, like, how many times you've built a tile improvement. 
Can you imagine having that data, like your 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 build to death ratio on builders or whatever, like the average efficiency of builders, um, how many population you've grown, how many units you've killed in total? These kind of things they seem kind of trivial and silly, but honestly, to implement a feature to track all of that would be that's like an afternoon, okay? Maybe an afternoon to code up the basics, and then like a couple weeks of you know. Uh, building it out for a team and boom you got this cool little feature not that important but does a cool thing probably better things to spend your development time on honestly probably I'm gonna I'm buy a few tiles uh, we're up to a total of a hundred interest on our income so it is up to a thousand interest which is kind of interesting because uh, probably a good idea to limit that um, which means in order to get a thousand so whatever that is by two so 1,000 divided by 3 is 300. So we need to have about 33,000 cash in the bank to get 1,000 gold per turn. That's actually insane. That's like really damn good. We are up to a very healthy 783 tourism. Uh, we're up to 424 tourists stolen. And we continue to optimize, not because it's optimal, but because I am a glutton for punishment and I don't know any better. I don't know when to quit. I wish I knew how to when to quit you. How to quit you? What was the what was the quote from that movie? That one movie that everyone made fun of, but actually turns out was a banger. Was that movie any good? I don't think I ever saw it. It was like real popular, but was it real popular because it was a good movie or because everyone made fun of it? This is this is the trouble, right? When you live in an ironic society where everyone thinks everything is funny, um, people will like like what we gaslit studios into bringing back Morbius as a society. Like, we, we, that's a thing that we did. That's wrong. Um, I mean, it's hilarious, but somewhere, <laughs> somewhere we should all know that it was wrong to do that. They lost untold millions of their billions of dollars. <laughs> Honestly, that was a great moment in history. That's, that's the kind of moment you could bottle up and like sell for cold winter nights that keep that will keep me warm on the eastern front let me tell you speaking of the eastern front uh, the east of my empire is looking very paradisey another turn ends and we have made progress we're up to 452 tourists we're gaining like two to three per player per turn so i reckon i reckon should be able to see ourselves get a little victory here now. Fixing to get a victory here in a few minutes. 452 becomes 477. Okay, so 25 tourists in a blink. Blink of an eye. The blink of thine eye has created a new thing. Well, this thing just has no production. I mean, I guess I did kind of build this city without production in mind. Listen. The city exists to produce tourism. That's its job. Look at all these tourists. Oh, man. This, these, these tourists are just visiting the desert. That's what they're... They're just visiting the desert. Where's my biggest tourist tile? Probably in my capital, right? The capital's got seven. A lot of these places got seven. I don't think there's anywhere that really stands out. I mean, this kind of stands out. This stands out a little. 19 over here in the statue of Zweis. 18 on the pyramids. The Tyranids, the pyramids. Um, two over here at the ski resort. This ski resort is not that old shocking number of tourists that it has produced for the age that it is. It's a fascinating adventure that we are on here, ladies and gentlemen. Should I say gentlemen and lady, based on my viewer demographics? <laughs> um, actually, there are a surprising number of women who like to watch Civ. I've heard some games can have, like, seriously, like 97% men. And I think mine is 96, so we're doing it, boys. Women are welcome. Honestly, I think it's just the fact that like strategy games have always been kind of like the boy thing. It's got war and it's got soldiers. Whereas I feel like that's always been like the boy thing, you know, like gender stereotype, whatever, blah, blah, blah. You know, boys play with soldiers, girls play with dolls. This sort of like gender normative. I'm not smart enough for this new world. I was born in a world that was very simple and the world has become very complicated now. Um, my brain don't work good. So I just, I retreat. I retreat to my little hole and I just try to be nice to everyone because I'm too busy. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, no, 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 seriously. Uh, uh, the, 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 yeah, that was like the, I think that maybe, is that like, is that what's, what makes Civ less popular with 
the ladies. I think it's possible um, that that's what it is. I don't think there's like, I mean, most of the women that I know that play the game, they like love it. They love playing it. They want to play it all the time. Um, really, really enjoy it. It's a great game. It's an awesome game. But most of the people that I know that play Civ are like super casual, like men included. I don't, I don't think that's, I think it's just like a, uh, yeah, I just, I don't know why. The game isn't as popular with the ladies as it should be. I don't know why I say it like that. I think it's a Bill Burr thing. I, I listened. The thing is, right, Bill Burr did the ladies thing once on like a YouTube short that I saw. And now I can't stop saying it because I don't know why. It's just so funny to me to say it that way, even though it doesn't mean it doesn't mean anything. It's just funny to say it that way. Excuse me, ladies. You know, you could just you could just put so much silliness into saying the word like that. That's the problem. The problem is it's so easy to say it in a silly way via that medium. And I blame the B, the B to the B, Bill Burbank. So we're at 503, heading into the next term. 9,000, chooching along, tourism, up to 841 tourism per turn, baseline. That's getting multiplied by a casual 978%. Just a little casual, cash. Uh, 533 tourists have been acquired. Uh, do you know what? I lied. Not only did I lie, I lied earlier in this exact episode. I'm not above shift entering because that's what we're going to do. Let's shift enter to win the game. 533, we pressed our first shift enter of the game. Alexander, he mad, he giga mad. He can stay mad for all I care. All right, plus one era score. We like it. We like it. We like it. We like it. Renew this mission. Uh, 562. We shift enter once again. Force the turn to end. It's a new turn, a new day. We have acquired 588 tourists. We shift enter once again. The final end turn. It's the final end turn. And we got a victory. We got the W, the tourism victory. That was a really fun game where we, and you know what? I think Inquisitive Otter is onto something when he says that the Monopolies and Corporation mode isn't as imbalanced as people say because it lets you end the game when the game starts to get stale. And if I had kept conquering, I could have conquered the whole of Europe with Persia. But being able to just transition into a tourism victory because I had so much land kind of made, you know, made sense. Um, you can see the buildings constructed as I start to take over more land. I mean, one thing I want to see, I want to see the number of combats. Oh my God, this was like the Thunderdome game beyond a certain point. Look at the number of combats that I participated. There wasn't a nice long piece right here though that felt pretty good. Cities founded. Whoa, that's a lot of cities. Dude, I took so long to settle any cities whatsoever. Cities captured, however. Dude, I was stomp, 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 stomp. Um, I'm curious about number... Okay, not number of combats. I'm curious about units killed. <laughs> Look at all those units I killed. I don't even think I lost that many. Yeah, I lost like... I lost a decent amount, but not that many. Um, how about wonders constructed? We didn't build many wonders, I don't think. Um, uh, wars declared, eh, nothing too special there. Total religions founded, huh? Huh? Eh? Eh? A little, little religion for you there, bud. But yeah, that's gotta be it. I'm gonna call that the end of the episode, the end of the series, and the end of a very, very fun game as Persia. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this game as weird, wacky, and fun as it was. That's it from me. I love you all very much, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.